Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you how to upgrade the maps on older legacy Garmin equipment such as Garmin Street Pilot, C330, C320, C310 and C340 and so on. Uh, when you go to Garmin's website they say the new version 2020 maps are not compatible with the older devices. They are correct, it is not compatible. However, there is a way around it. Uh, the reason they say it's not compatible is because the capacity of that unit uh, is limited to one or two gigabyte. And the SD card which can be inserted in, in these units, uh, even the SD card limitation is two gigabyte. So the map for North America is too big. It doesn't fit a, a two gigabyte um, SD card, neither does it fit a one gigabyte internal memory on the GPS. So that's the reason they say it's not compatible. Now, how you could do it, how to work around it is to choose partial maps. Uh, and for that, you have to download a software called uh, Garmin Map Source, uh, which is a free download from Garmin, uh, or you could buy uh, the Garmin uh, installable map, which is a version of map that installs into your PC. And then from there, you can uh, basically install it into your GPS uh, via USB cable or you can install it on an SD card and then put the SD card in your GPS um, and that's how uh, it's going to work. So now what we are going to do is that's exactly what we're going to do right now. If you notice this uh, GPS uh, the version of the map on this is really really old. I'm going to show you. So if you if you go to map and then go to map info this is North America version 8. The version 8 is before 2007 or 2008. You're, you're, you're talking 2005. A good 15 year old map. And we're going to change this to version 2020. However, partial. Not the entire region. It doesn't fit. So here's how we do it. Please pay attention so you could do that. So the first thing you need to do is install the program that I said. So this is the program. Uh, we have a uh, city navigator North America uh, NT version 2020 and this is the entire region which doesn't fit but if you just want Canada just let's choose Canada and now let's see how much this is also Canada's yeah that's about it that's Canada we actually chose Alaska as well but that's fine so just if you choose, actually no we didn't, Alaska is over here. So if you choose Canada, it's 389 gigabytes, which is more than enough to fit on a 2 gigabyte SD card. If you choose Alaska, that's 431, still you're, you're still good. You can even add Mexico, and you're still good, 750. Uh, however, the, the North America, I mean the United States is too huge, you cannot fit it on a 2 gigabyte SD card so you have to choose partial. If you live in Utah, choose Utah. If you live in Nevada, choose Nevada. You have to choose one. You have to keep this under 2 gigabyte. So let's say we choose the left, the western side. We are at 1.31. Let's include Texas. We are 1.46. Let's include Minnesota. Illinois and Iowa, we are around 1.6, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, we are still safe, 1.79. So all this will fit on a 2 gigabyte SD card. You cannot add these sections. If we do, just for, for information purposes, if we add all of these, look at the capacity increase, 2.8 gigabyte. There is no way you can fit it. So that's why you have to choose partial maps. Now what I'm going to do is just, uh, new, don't save. I'm just, just to teach you, I'm going to choose Nevada only. That's 11 gigabyte, me megabytes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my SD card in the computer. It's a two gigabyte SD card. And then I go click here. And then I choose my SD card, which is Drive Q. I wrote the Garmin when I formatted the SD card, so it could be anything. 
then you click send so it says storage card reader building map transferring map set it's transferring and data sent successfully okay and done now we're going to put that map of Nevada which is Reno Nevada and see what happened okay so there is our SD card so this card is going to go inside this puppy okay it should automatically read it if not you just need to restart it okay so I'm going to restart it turn it off and turn it back on okay map info and there is my version 2020 North America you see all the states because the older map which is on the internal memory has all the states but the new map is only for the state of Nevada so that's how you do upgrade of uh, a GPS that's uh, you know older now you're probably gonna ask why would I upgrade um, the map on an older unit the, that's because if you are used to if let's say you're an, you're a seven-year-old man and you're used to using this GPS for 15 20 years uh, it's easier for you to buy the map and upgrade this than it is to buy a brand new GPS and start learning it especially the newer ones they have so many functionalities and complications that an older guy may find uh, very complex uh, although they're trying to make it as user-friendly as possible but there's so many apps so many extras that maybe for a person who was who is trying to get from point A to point B it's just too much they don't really need all that extra they want something simple punch in the address and go for that this is how you upgrade your maps thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe